Today's video is all about cooking a Thanksgiving turkey for two. Not everyone wants to cook an entire turkey from scratch, so why not scale down to just one turkey breast? The perfect amount of turkey for two. Let's get started. I picked up this boneless butterball turkey breast at my local Walmart, and it's roughly two to three pounds, which is about what you want to look for. It comes with this netting already on it. We're not going to mess with it, just set it off to the side while we work on our butter rub. To a bowl, we have half a cup of semi-soft butter. To that, we're going to add in one and a half teaspoons of fresh chopped rosemary, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, and two teaspoons of salt. I'm using pink salt here, but regular salt works just fine. Grab a fork and start mashing everything together. Once you have a nice butter paste looking something like this, you're ready for the next step. As you can see here, unlike a whole turkey where you have the skin and whatnot, we don't really have that. Normally for my whole turkey, I would stuff my butter mixture between the skin and the meat of the bird, but since we don't have that option here, we're just going to smear it all over. You can use a spatula if you think that'll work better, especially if you don't want to touch the raw meat. I honestly don't care. <laughs> I'll get in there with my hands and just spread it all around. The softer the butter is, the easier it will be to spread. Just rub it down as best you can. Nobody's going to grade you on presentation. <laughs> as a side note, I am working with a fully thawed turkey breast. I do have some extra rosemary on hand, so I'm just going to spread that around in my dish. Now, normally for a whole turkey, you would have it sitting on some sort of rack so the turkey isn't sitting in the turkey juices, but this is just a little turkey breast. The most we'll get is a little bit of fat and melted butter. No point in having a rack. Lastly, we're going to chop up some garlic. Not a whole lot, just a few cloves. We're going to sprinkle it on top and toss some on the bottom of the dish. Since we are putting this on top, check your turkey around the last 30 minutes of cooking, and if the garlic on top looks like it needs to be tented, grab a piece of foil and lay it over the breast. We're going to cook this at 325 degrees for roughly an hour and 20 minutes, or for however long the package says to cook it for based on the weight of the turkey breast. As you can see here, I did throw on a little foil on the top just to stop the garlic from burning. I did let my turkey breast rest for 45 minutes before slicing into it. If you slice into it right away, all of those juices will run all over the place. Let her rest. <laughs> to remove the netting, simply roll her over and slice and pull it off. Look at that, all nice and juicy. Very delicious. The perfect amount of turkey for two to three people, especially if you're having the traditional sides that accompany a Thanksgiving dinner. Here's an ingredients list. Be sure to check out my Thanksgiving Make Ahead Turkey Gravy video, where I show you how to make a turkey gravy without having to use the drippings from a whole traditional turkey. This is the actual gravy from that video, so if it looks tasty, you might want to check that out. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out, and I'll see you all in the next video.